<sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we'd do a quick unboxing and first shots review of this, the Webley Mark VI service revolver in CO2, of course. Now this particular example I actually bought for my dad for Christmas, but bless him, he never even got to try it before I swiped it back so I could do this review. Looks pretty awesome on the front of the box. Let's see what she looks like in the flesh. Oh yes. Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at this beauty. We're gonna pop her over the chronograph and see how close this replica gets to the speeds of the original. And then we're gonna see whether, as well as looking great, we can actually hit anything with it. But first, a quick history lesson. The Webley service revolver, also known as the top brake, or the self-extracting revolver due to its extracting action there with the cartridges, which is actually a massive um, improvement on the previous uh, service pistols. Uh, so these are actually pretty popular. Um, now they might look quite antiquated, especially compared to something like the Colt 1911, which also incredibly started its um, service life during the First World War. Uh, but like the Colt 1911, these pistols have really stood the test of time. Uh, originally produced in 1887, they were still serving in British and Commonwealth forces somewhere in the world, uh, right up to the 1970s. So saw conflicts right from the Boer War through to Northern Ireland. Now the Webley Mark VI service revolver, of course, is synonymous with World War I and the fighting in Northern France in the trenches. It's almost impossible, I think, to hold this pistol and not imagine those young men, pistol in hand, whistles in mouths, waving the troops forward over the top, charging across no man's land in the face of the German machine guns. It, it really is an almost emotional experience just to, to sort of hold this pistol. They've done a fantastic job of creating the original. Now, this has been produced to the original 1915 uh, blueprint and you can see here, it's got the uh, patent mark that they've put in, the Webley Mark VI patent, 1915. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful piece of kit. Uh, it's all metal construction, apart from the handles, which of course are plastic. And that houses your 12 gram CO2 canister, which you can pierce by screwing in the lanyard buckle there. Pop them back on. Um, so it's true to the original blueprint. Uh, it's 1.1 kilograms in weight or 2.4 pounds in metric. Uh, 286 millimeters long. And um, obviously for originally would have fired six. Ooh, if I can get these out. Would have originally fired 6.455 caliber cartridges, which would have had uh, a hell of some stopping power. So originally they would have been busting out somewhere around or up to about 330 uh, foot pounds of pressure. Uh, we're not gonna be shooting them like that today. So um, in the end here, you can see you've got a little rubber gasket and you pop your pellet in there and then you're ready to go for your six shots. You've got either single or double action. And as I say, you press the, there's actually the rear sight mount. This releases your, the top brake. You can insert your cartridges. I've got to say, I love the sound of this as well. As I say, it's so evocative as a gun, as a pistol. So what we're going to do now is going to take this gun down the range. We're going to pop it over the chronograph and see how it matches up with its what would have been original 620 feet per second. Um, obviously, we won't be shooting the, um, uh, the same weight in grain pellets. We're just going to be shooting some probably 7.9 grain JSB expresses today. And then we're going to get it on paper and see if it can actually, um, how accurate it is, see if it can hit anything. 
So I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome to the range. Uh, so I've set up the chronograph here, and what we're gonna do, as I say, is just fire six rounds over the chrono, and then we should be able to get some sort of an average in terms of the uh, speed that this uh, latest iteration of the Mark VI Webley service revolver is punching lead downrange. Um, so I'm loaded up with some 177, 7.9 grain JSB Expresses. There we go. Safety is off. Okay, see what she can do. And we're empty. Okay, so somewhere between about 330 and 520 feet per second. So um, I think it's safe to say there's a little bit of variation there, which is what you'd expect with uh, maybe with a CO2 pistol. But um, what we'll do now is we'll get some paper out and uh, yeah, like I say, see how accurate she is. Okay guys, so the original Mark VI had an effective range of 50 yards. I'm going to be shooting today at eight yards. Let's see how we get on. Safety off. Not bad. Bit of a flyer, that one. And we're empty. Let's go have a look. Okay, so let's see what we've uh, what we got here then. Yeah, so not bad. I'm pretty pleased with that, to be fair. I think uh, you know, I think at least two of these were my first couple of shots, and I thought, wow, we're uh, we're onto a belter. But um, yeah, it did seem to start throwing them out here. But it's, that's really not bad, you know, for eight yards, for eight yards with this rig. So um, yeah, to be honest, it was so much fun. I'm gonna stick some of these uh, little stickers on uh, to cover things over, and yeah. We'll do it all again. Okay, so that was a lot of fun first time around. So I've put some more stickers on the target and um, yeah, I've reloaded the, uh, the Webley and um, let's rerun the fun. Safety is off. I'm just gonna aim maybe like an inch high uh, this time. I had those three shots that were you know, pretty near the center, uh, but a little bit low. So just gonna go a tad high. Oh no, that's gone really low. There you go, that's hit the ball. Not bad. This is a better group. One more, I think. And we're empty. Let's go see what we've done. So again, yeah, pretty good to be fair. Uh, this was definitely one from this second group. Uh, this was the second shot, I think, which dropped a bit low. Uh, but then the third one, I think, is possibly in here. We've knocked off a couple of those stickers uh, that we had on there. And then we got a couple of rounds in there. So, I mean, that's pretty good. You know, that's probably just over maybe 40 mil, I would say. 40 to 45 mil, uh, probably, centre to centre. And um, I think for, you know, CO2 pistol, um, you know, you're not really looking for obviously target match grade accuracy, then um, yeah, uh, it's delivered on that front and it's still a lot of fun. Now, I did say earlier how the Webley Mark VI service revolver started its life in 1915 and was synonymous with uh, World War I, the trenches and the Somme. And um, I'm not trying to compare obviously uh, Tunbridge Wells today with, uh, with that, however I would say there's probably not a long way off. So don't say I don't suffer for your enjoyment. <laughs> anyway, gonna get back in the car now, get back home and uh, we'll wrap things up. Woo! Right, there we go then, just back from the range. A little bit windswept, but um, yeah, definitely big smiles on faces. So um, what's my conclusion about this Webley Mark VI service revolver 
replica, I guess you can call it, CO2177 version. Um, yeah, fantastic gun. I think it ticks a few boxes, to be fair. I think if you're looking for a back garden plinker, this is certainly going to be accurate enough to knock over a few tin cans. Um, and if you're looking for a replica firearm, well, you know, you can't get much better than the original manufacturer manufacturing effectively the same gun to the original 1915 blueprint. So, yeah, fantastic. I think the thing for me is that um, I don't think I've ever shot certainly an air pistol that just feels so right in the hand. I mean, the weight is fantastic. As we said, it's an original replica, so it's the same length, the same weight. Um, the hammer action, the trigger action, certainly the ejector action, the top brake ejector action. Just the sound and the feel. Um, as I said, you know, earlier on in the video, evocative, emotive, these are the sort of words that I would think of for these, uh, for this pistol. Right then, that's it from me, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel for more content. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea, clean my muddy boots off from the range. But until then, shoot safe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>